Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do our Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So tomorrow it's the expiry day, and also uh, a reaction of a news-based event. Okay, so the Fed uh, announcement is there tonight, and post that the reaction would be seen in the entire world. Okay, so. That's why if we check the participant wise open interest today, uh, even the data uh, seems to be lightly confusing and it is clearly visible that uh, neither FIS pros or retailers carried any strong positions for the overnight. Okay, so like we discussed and anticipated that today both Nifty and Bank Nifty can form an inside candle and that's what it did. Bank Nifty has formed an inside candle as well as Nifty also has formed an inside candle. So inside candle means a candle within the range of previous day's candle. So let's quickly go and check uh, the data and see what positions people have taken. But apart from that, uh, what is more important is today's analysis is definitely something that we are doing however uh, tomorrow the entire action will take place since we do not have much positions from even the big people so a lot of positions will be taken tomorrow so it is going to be a confusing and disastrous day because everyone has to uh, you know understand what's happening and take positions accordingly so firstly, if we check uh, FIs have created confusions here, they have created long positions, good to know that. However, they have created short positions too. So this is a confusion. It is like, you know, it was useless. But this is basically to, uh, you know, con con kind of confuse us. And if we look at the call options, they are long and they have closed some shorts. So overall, uh, they are long in call options that means uh, expecting a gap up and similarly they have small quantity as put long as well and if we look at pros they are again call long uh, which is similar to what uh, pro FIs have done but they also have put shots okay this could be at the lower level that's why market uh, tried to hold today's low so overall uh, what we can see is uh, the positions are slightly bullish and uh, the quantity is less and that itself states that you know people are not confident and most of the positions will be created on the expiry day so a continuous monitoring of uh, you know the futures oi and option chain is definitely going to help in tomorrow's trade okay so this is what uh, the data tells about let's quickly check out the option chain uh, nothing that great all that we can see is a lot of position being exited see we can see a lot of exit here a lot of exit here so people have winded up their positions nobody wanted to carry any you know significant or any at the money or in the money position is what we can understand so there is definitely a fear in the market because of the uh, the fed outcome that is going to happen today so overall the pcr is better in bank nifty and nifty still weak uh, that's why we can see a red color candle in nifty uh, unlike bank nifty is kind of a doji okay so the closing is also isn't that great uh, the closing is kind of bearish however uh, the data looks a little bullish okay now let's move on to a smaller time frame so before we discuss the smaller time frame what i wanted to tell you all is uh, tomorrow 
there is a high chance of make or break either this level or this level because the market cannot stay constantly at this place for such a long time and we have seen market to be within this range for three days and that is one of uh, the reason is the fed outcome that is planned today so definitely once the outcome is you know given to the public the market will catch a trend either it can go up and fill the gap in case if there is any positivity or the market can continue its downtrend so this is both for nifty and bank nifty so since it's an inside candle uh, usually how do we trade is whenever there is an inside candle and if this high breaks uh, the chance of going upside is more and similarly when the low breaks the chance of going downside is more however uh, nifty has a lot of space here so you know it has to like travel something like this and similar thing can happen even in bank nifty so in case if we go down it is always good to buy a put and in case if it is going up it is better to sell put uh, rather than buying call so this is something which we need to keep in mind and people who hedge their positions you know they can do like they can sell two puts and you know sell one call like that you can take a position and carry it and whenever you see that it is continuously you know trying to break the highs is when you can add more puts but definitely on the upside it is always better we don't stay uh, naked so similar in bank nifty so bank nifty also if you see uh, it has to travel about 200 points here to break this high but however the low is quite near okay so if it breaks on the lower side we'll buy put if it breaks on the upper side uh, instead of buying call we can short put but uh, people who are option buyers uh, they definitely have to you know take the pain of buying call and it can decay as well uh, you can move to the next expiry but i always try to uh, you know choose the same expiry one of the reason is whenever there is a short cover that happens uh, the current expiry premium increases significantly if we compare it with the next week expiry okay now let's quickly move on to the smaller time frame and discuss so we have already discussed but we are just going to see on a smaller time frame uh, the trigger points which would uh, make us understand that it is planning to go high or low so the first thing here is you know this place so this swing this swing is definitely a resistance okay market went up came down stayed within this range today also it tried the first move it couldn't go tried to sustain here but eventually it came down so the first thing that is going to happen is if uh, bank nifty has to go up tomorrow it will stay about 33500 okay so first of all uh, it depends on where the market opens tomorrow if the market opens flat obviously all the premiums uh, will crash and that itself will be confusing because both the put side premium will crash and the call side premium will crash and option sellers uh, how do they enjoy making profits by selling options is to sell higher premiums so to sell higher premiums either of one should happen either a gap down or maybe a gap up so a gap up uh, above 33500 can make put sellers to enter and sell 33500 puts so if that is happening we'll closely monitor what's happening at the strike price of 33500 and if market is sustaining here okay so if you're an option buyer you can definitely wait in this space this is between 33500 to 600 okay so this is for option buyers 
So you can wait in this space because the positions will add up. And then if it gives a breakout on the upside, then you can go for a call buy because upside the space is free and it can go with the momentum if people start covering their shorts. And similarly, on the down, uh, if it is open gap up and you know it is sustaining about 33,500, then it should not come back to this lower level. So we will consider this level, which is close to 33,440. So if you see that it is coming below 33,440 and we see a couple of candles closing below this level, then you can take a put trade and we'll definitely book it here since it's expiry. But once this place is breached, we may see a further fall even until 32,900. So keep this levels in your mind. So the downside trigger would be once today's low is breached, the downside trigger would take place. But once 33,123 is breached is when the sharp fall can happen. Okay. And so we discussed uh, gap up opening. In case of flat opening, we'll not do anything because market will spend time here uh, and we'll mark that range till the time it is sideways. And once it gives a breakout on one of the side is when we'll enter because that is the time when premiums will start shooting up. So once the premiums are you know decreasing, that time we do not want to enter. Okay. And in case of a gap down, so say if we are opening gap down below today's low, then that means it is already a trigger that market may go down. So we'll just wait for a small bounce. Even I'm not even sure if it will bounce until this place, but we just need a swing to set our SL. So in case if it comes here and if it turns back, we'll buy a put here. And in case if it doesn't come to that place and it breaches this low, we'll immediately enter in a put here with an SL at this place. Okay, so this is the plan for Bank Nifty tomorrow. Let's quickly check out Nifty as well. So for Nifty, the upside trigger point is this 15780. So in case if we open above this level, there is a high chance that 15800 uh, put writers may try to enter. So we will wait similar pattern. We will wait for them to you know take time and write more puts. And once we get a breakout is when we'll buy call. And in case if we open uh, gap up, and immediately if we fall back to this place, then it is going to be difficult. Market may trade sideways. So we'll wait for them to, you know, enjoy the any other premium DK that is possible. And once we see a breakout or a breakdown is when we'll try to enter at this place. Okay. Similarly, a gap down opening. So if it opens gap down, uh, say below 16, 650, and that means all these lows are already taken out with a gap down. So we'll just see if we get a rise maybe until this place or maybe until this place. So once this low is breached, we are definitely going to enter in a put with this as a SL. And I think we should see a fall at least up to 15,500. So this is my view on Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. I hope uh, you all have understood this. So mostly you will have to focus on the data set up tomorrow that will give us a more idea whether put writers are aggressive or is it the call writers who are aggressive a flat opening may create confusion uh, we may see a sideways market for some time but definitely it is going to take a trend tomorrow that trend is something which we need to capture thank you for watching let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye